Uh, yeah, welcome to Tea Guy Tom's Intro to Tea Farming. So you may be asking, Tom, I'm a Chad who calls for cargo counters on Global four minutes after BP wipe and then dominates the large server as a solo. Why should I grow berries? What's the value of a tea? And my answer to you would be, uh, there is none. I don't know. Go win the game. I don't, why, why are you watching this video? Okay, for the rest of us, l let me try to explain. Teas are not just some RP rigmarole. They can give you a pretty significant buff on both your health and resource gathering, which can give you the competitive edge against your competition. All by simply grabbing some berries in the woods, carrying them back to your base, chucking them into the mixing table, hit and mix, wait in a few seconds, and uh, there you go, bickety bam, you got yourself some tea. All right, so you're sold, you're a tea believer. Welcome to the club. So what are teas? Teas are broken down into three levels. To make a basic tea, you just need four berries. To make an advanced tea, you're gonna need 16 berries. And for the pures, you're gonna need 64. 64 might seem like a lot, but honestly, you'll get there. All right, so let's cover the types of teas that are available. Healing teas, they, uh, they heal you. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, seems like a waste of red berries. Honestly, um, just grow some potatoes. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, max health tea. This is the Chad tea. This is how you can uh, dunk on the nerds with only 100 HP. Uh, take a few extra shots. Solid tea. Ah, the ore tea. Everyone's most beloved tea. Um, it gives you more ore, which means more sulfur, which means more boom. So, don't sleep on the ore tea. Ah, the scrap tea. So the scrap tea gives you extra scrap inside of barrels, which is really useful for early BP wipes. Best you just jump on a boat, run around, hit some barrels, get that scrap built up. It's kind of peaceful, actually. I saved my favorite for the last. Uh, wood tea is the best. It gives you so much wood, and then you can make some goofy ass bases and some weird bridges. I don't know what I'm doing. It's great. You may have noticed that I left off uh, rad teas, and they're made out of something called green berries, which you might have seen in the game. Um, they're very good for um, taking, finding, and uh, throwing them on the ground and never thinking of them ever again. All right, well, that's the difficult part. You now understand teas. Now the fun part comes up, which is making a tea farm. So let's join a server. You're naked, on the beach, alone, scared and cold. What do you do now? How do we get started as a tea farm? Well, you gotta pick a location. And when picking a location, you should think of three things. Gameplay, climate, and water. Gameplay. So some of the gameplays available to you are setting up a store to sell teas. You could also build a big windowless box that just produces teas for a clan. Uh, you know, makes everything a little easy for them. You could also build further away from civilization on top of a cliff while you pump water up and go insane covering it in signs. You know, eh, it's a play. Uh, personally, my favorite is to make teas for a server and sell them through a shop. I mean, you really get to experience what it means to be a tea guy. What the hell was that? Climate! Next on the list. Really, you got winter, desert, and, you know, like grass and forest and stuff. Getting started as a tea farmer, stick to the grasslands. You don't, you don't need to be getting the heaters out just yet. Just, just relax. All right, all right, water. You got some options here. So you got rivers, freshwater lakes, oceans, and, and rain catching. Freshwater is by far the easiest. It makes everything simple, down to your electronics, even to your sprinkler system. Everything's a very simple formula. Uh, the one step above that would be building on an ocean, which requires a desalination step. It's just another circuit. It's nothing too crazy, but it makes things a little bit more complicated. And with water catching, I honestly wouldn't scale this above one planter in your base. It just, it just doesn't scale. We know teas, we know where we want to build, base building time. Definitely a subject with no contention and very easy, straightforward ways of doing things. I'm gonna break this down as simple as possible. I'm gonna give you the absolute most basic way to make a tea farm. You're just getting your toes wet a little bit, you know, testing the water. All right, we're gonna throw it on a one by three with a double door, single door airlock, jam our TC in the corner, get our tier one down, throw it out of the box right over here, furnace, 
bag, other box, boom. Now we have to set out to find some essentials to get our tea farm going. Planter box. Um, it requires two tarp, which can be found fairly easily in some barrels. Or you could run to Bandit Camp, buy them for 30 scrap, eh, live your life. The water jug can be found with these little food crates lying around. If you get lucky, you'll find one pretty quick. And if you're desperate, you could always just buy one from the Bandit Camp. Uh, tech trash is going to be the hardest thing to find, but uh, as you run monuments and recycle things, it, it should pop up. Now the lights and small battery I'm going to ignore because you can get that using uh, the tech tree. Alright, let's put that to good use now. Let's uh, start putting some things in our base. Go ahead and grab your large planter and slap it down right there. Small battery right here. Now let's jump on the roof and uh, put down a solar panel. Let's get some juice in this base. Now, the optimum placement on these require a Rust PhD, so don't beat yourself up too much. We're powering one light. It's gonna be fine. Uh, while we're up here, we might as well grab the wiring tool and run a line down to our small battery that's in the base. Go ahead and throw the ceiling light right above the planter. And now we have to wire the battery up to the light, keeping it neat. Eureka, we have light, we've done it. But now we need to put some water into our planter. Which is specifically why we chose fresh water and we found those water jugs. We're gonna jump in the river, hold right click, fill up both your jugs, hop back into your base, right in the middle of the planter, and right click the dump. There you go, I'm now ready to plant some seeds. Now, it should go without saying that at this point you should probably have picked some berries. A good tea farmer is always picking berries. So grab three seeds of yellow, blue, and red, and let's plant them in our planter box. And at this point, uh, you've done it. You've got your berries in the ground and they're growing. But you're missing one thing that's important to a tea farmer. The mixing table. Uh, just like the ceiling light and the battery, we're just gonna tech tree down to this as well. Easy peasy. And just like that, our tea farm is complete. So now we just wait for our berries to get ripe and then we pick all of them. Then we just jump over to our mixing table, throw in our berries and then, there we go, we got a tea. Congrats, you've been uh, properly introduced to teas. Uh, it can get uh, a little wild after this, but you know, for another video. If you find this information interesting and you wanna learn more about tea farms, feel free to subscribe to the channel, ask some questions, yeah, have at it. Should be filled with uh, lots of weird content loosely related to tea farms. I, you know, I think you're getting the gist so far. So this concludes the introduction to tea farming. Um, hopefully going forward you give a little bit more respect, a little bit more love to the tea game. It's, uh, it's more than what you think. Um, GG's, good luck guys. One love.